We've grown up together, got married together. We even got divorced together. Men may come and go, but your best friends are forever. Hello, and welcome to Your Life with Jimmy. Now, as all of you know out there, my future husband, Andy Cohen, has all those bad girls over at Bravo. But today, I have two of my own. Please welcome, from Secrets and Wives, Susan and Corey. Ladies, welcome to the studio. How are you? Hi, Jenny. Thank you. So yes. happy to be here. Great. Great. Thank I love you for having yellow, us. Mellow yellow, mellow yellow. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We so, didn't even talk before. You're kidding. No, this just was a coincidence. It's Mental you're telepathy. In, you're in, in sync. Yeah. Of one mind, of one mind. So, Secrets and Wives, tell me a little bit about this show. Secrets and Wives is a docu-series about six women that live on the North Shore of Long Island. I would say it's like Sex in the City, but we're maybe 10 years older. I agree. Right? 10 years older? I think we're like a cross between friends and Sex in the City. That's okay. how I think it. That's how we love to think how we are. Yeah. Okay. And you know each other before the show, obviously, right? Yes. Yes. How many years? Like over 20 years we oh know each God. other. Yeah. It's two decades. Yes. My daughter was at her house last night, put it that way. Okay. <laughs> okay, I love it. The sisterhood is real. The sisterhood is the real. The sisterhood is real. Exactly. So you sign on to do this show. There's going to be cameras following you everywhere. Why? open up your life in this way. My, my past, I'm not ashamed of it, and where I am today is great, and I'm proud of where I'm going. So, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm an open book. I was married and divorced, and then I married Jonathan. We've known each other since the 15, he was my crush. And, you know, he has his past that everybody's talking about. Right. But it's and made him a better man. He definitely is, but you know what? Everyone's entitled. To make okay. mistakes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. And that's also what it shows. So you, we're not perfect. We're right. all flawed, every one of us on the show. So it's really relatable in the sense that you can look at each one of our lives right. and relate to all different aspects of right. it. All of us. Got the, uh, all of you. Nothing's perfect. No one's to judge. I understand you filmed summer 2014 and now the show premieres June 2nd. Are you nervous about old things from the past coming up? You know, you, you filmed, you left it behind, you got on with your lives, and now seeing it on television all over again? Living it, I think it's gonna be really interesting and exciting because, I mean, and we put our, we put it all out there. Put our, we wore our hearts on our sleeves, and you know, listen, we filmed together a lot. We did, I mean, we know each other well, and it'll be interesting to see, you know, what we didn't see. You know, I don't know. I know only know what happened when I was there. Right. So this, you know, this is nothing I've ever done before. It's okay. interesting. Who's gonna be tagged as the diva? I <laughs> feel like in a way we're all kind of divas. Right. You know, some are a little more diva esque okay. than others. Like, Very if you Very were political. gonna, t if you were gonna say like, you know, who's the fanciest? I, I would say Gail. Okay. So she's like your fancy diva, like. You know, if we ever went on a girl's trip, let's say she would have to have the best room, or, you sure. know. For sure. I think Liza's definitely not what you think she'd be in a good way. Okay. Right? And Andy might be a little DV-ess. Uh, Amy's definitely too nice. Okay. Amy's, I don't think, a diva at all. Is she, no. she the pushover, Amy? She's the undiva. The anti -Z. And Amy, if I read correctly in Newsday, she had a major hand in getting this underway. It was not her idea. It was not her idea. It wasn't and that's her what's idea. Coming along. It definitely wasn't her idea. Okay. She so, knew girls and made a few calls, and then it just like the executive producer. The person who had the idea was the executive producer, okay. and she basically talked about her idea, and he knew a lot of the girls. She knew all of us, and she introduced us okay. to the executive producer. So that's really how it happened. Yeah, so let's set that record straight. Yes. Oh, it's I'm not glad. Yeah. Because yeah. I reading Ooh, it. Oh, I'm being confused. a little bit of a diva right yeah. now. You are. Oh, Corey can be a diva. Corey can He's be a diva. He's actually. I can? Diva undercover. You're not going to let Susan get away with that. What kind of diva is Susan? Susan's like, tells you like it is. You don't have to worry about it. You're going to hear something from someone else that Susan said because Susan's going to tell you. Right. So she's like, diva, no joke. Okay. <laughs> diva, no joke. 
Diva undercover and Diva no joke. Diva no joke, Diva undercover, I want t-shirts made. Right. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Like, I, I might not tell you how I really feel, but I'll wear it on my sleeve and you'll know that I'm miserable right. until finally, like, you'll beat it out of me. Right. And why did I didn't say it, you know, but Susan's, she must be very healthy. Right. Because I right. have no colitis, stress. probably. What makes Secrets and Wives different from, say, you know, Housewives of Atlanta? Storylines are, it's like, fun. intertwined, whether it's, like, our kids are in the same school district, right. you know, someone dated someone's it's ex, someone... No, it's not just drama. I think that's, that's or, how it's... We have an organic connection. So, you know, we just cat fights. And we weren't just cast and thrown together like we no. organically have these long years of connection right. and I think the block from me Corey right. lives around the corner practically right Andy also we all Susan makes all the money Susan she supports all of us she's gonna pay for my spa treatments oh yes she I is she's gonna there. put the bill she's yeah not great spa okay I've good the show is called secrets and wives can you tell us a secret I'm really four feet three quarters Say I'm five feet all the time. Oh my god, you're a little tiny woman. Gail might have copied some of my ideas for her new spa. Ooh, scandal. That really is a secret, but no one's gonna know, right? No. Okay, okay, <laughs> dun dun dun. Now we're gonna move on. We've reached the end to something I like to call rapid fire. I have six questions. I'm gonna fire them off. You're gonna give me your answers as fast as you can. Favorite fashion accessory? Bags. Shoes. Favorite vacation spot? Aruba. Turks and Caicos. Favorite Disney princess? Ariel. That's mine. That's Ariel. mine. Ariel. Favorite reality show? Mm. Housewives Beverly Hills. Me too. No way. <laughs> Favorite junk food? Coffee ice cream. Chocolate. If you could go back in time and be any age right now. And know what we know now? Sure. Oh, I'd be 21. I'd be 21 too. Totally insane. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. And everyone out there watching, remember to tune into Bravo starting June 2nd, Secrets and Wives.